Hey, Tom here from Made by Loop, and in this video I'm going to run through how to loop things in After Effects. So let's dive into it. There's a couple of different ways to loop things in After Effects, and it mostly depends on what it is you're trying to loop and how you want the loop to look. For this video, I'm going to focus on three main things. I'm going to look at how to loop property animations like scale, position, rotation, etc. I'm going to look at how to loop an entire composition. And finally, I'll show you a little tip for looping footage as well. So let's get started. I have this composition here in After Effects, and you can see that we have a simple circle that animates from the top to the bottom over one second. Now, to loop this animation, what I'll do is I'll open up the position property, which is the thing that's been animated. So I'll select the layer and I'll hit P. And you can see that we have our two keyframes here that drive the animation. What I need to do now is option click the stopwatch icon here, or alt click if you're on Windows. And this will open up the expressions panel. I'll delete the default value and I'll type loop out, out with a capital O, then open brackets. I'll add a quotation mark and I'll type cycle. I'll double check to make sure the quotation mark is closed and there's a close bracket and I'll click away. So now if I hit play on the timeline, you can see that our animation now loops. What this expression is doing is it's saying when we get to the end keyframe, we want to cycle back to the first keyframe and play the animation again. This means the animation will now loop every one second because our keyframes are placed one second apart. If I move the end keyframe to two seconds to slow the animation down, the expression still stays the same, only now the animation loops every two seconds instead. So that's how to create a loop that cycles back to the beginning. But let's say that instead we wanted this animation to play in reverse back to the initial keyframe and then play again, kind of like a boomerang effect on Instagram. Well, we can do that too. All we have to do is come back into our expression and change the word cycle to ping pong, which might just be the greatest name for an expression value ever created. I'll just move our last keyframe back to one second to demonstrate. And now if I hit play, you can see that the animation gets to the last keyframe, but instead of cycling back to the first keyframe, it now plays backwards, the whole thing reverses. It gets to the first keyframe and then it starts playing forward again. So we've created this boomerang effect. You can use this loop out expression on pretty much every property with keyframes. There are some scenarios where you can't use it, but for the vast majority of cases, it will work an absolute treat. All you need to do is remember to have at least two keyframes and then add the loop out expression. So the next thing we'll look at is how to loop an entire composition. So I'll go ahead and open up the looping comp here. And you can see that inside I've got a pre-comp called loop me, which is three seconds long. If I just hit play, we can see that the text rotates a bit and then it moves up and back down, super simple. And this is what we're going to loop. So to do that, first of all, we need to right click on our composition layer and choose time Enable time remapping. This gives us two keyframes here at the beginning and at the end of the original composition. The first thing I'll do is drag the end of the comp now along the timeline, and this just means that it'll be visible for much longer once it's all looped. The next thing I'll do is option click the stopwatch for the time remap value, and just like before with the position, I'll type loop out with a capital O. I'll open brackets, add a quotation mark, and I'll write the word cycle and close everything up. Now on the face of it, if I now scrub through the timeline, this has worked and our animation is now looping as expected. But we need to do one more step when looping with the time remap function. If I zoom into the final keyframe and place the time marker over it, you can see that the screen goes blank for a single frame and then in the next frame, that's when the loop begins. To get rid of this blank frame then, 
I'm going to place the time marker one frame before this last keyframe. I'll click the keyframe icon to add a new keyframe. And then I'll delete the end keyframe. Now if I scrub through, you can see that there's no blank frames and the animation loops really nicely. Again, if I wanted the whole composition to have a boomerang type effect, where it gets to the end and plays the animation backwards, then all I would have to do is change the word cycle to ping pong in our expression. And there you can see it gets to the end and it will reverse back to the first keyframe and it plays forward again and loop on like so. The next thing I'll look at is looping footage. Now, you could just use the time remap method we've just seen to loop your videos. And if you need to create a boomerang effect, then this would absolutely be the way to go. But if you just want a video file to loop a set number of times, then there's a much quicker option than using the loop out expression. So I'll just open up the looping footage comp here. And you can see that I've got a video file sitting here that's about three seconds long. This time, instead of choosing the time remap setting, I'll come up here to the project panel and I'll select my video file. I'll then click this icon here at the bottom of the project panel. This is the interpret footage icon. This brings up the interpret footage window. And right at the bottom, you can see this option here that says loop one times. So if I wanted my video to loop 10 times, for example, all I need to do is change this to 10 and hit OK. Instantly, you can see that the footage in our composition layer has now been extended. So if I drag out the out point along to the end and then scrub through the comp, you can see that the video now loops perfectly. So there we have it. There's a couple of options of how to loop things in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, do hit like and subscribe. And as ever, check out madebyloop.co.uk for more motion design resources.